Hi everyone, this is our late episode 3 for Black Force Comics Weekly Review Comics. Um, we're going to be looking at this past week's comics, which uh, there are quite a few out that came, and since it's me by myself, I'm going to be going over several of them. So, let's get started, shall we? Um, first one, Mythic Issue 3 was a great comic. I don't know if you're reading Mythic. It's kind of like um, the BPRD, the uh, Bureau of Res Paranormal Research and Development, except, well, more mythical, if such a thing is possible. That's what this is. It's a great comic. Um, right now, they're uh, looking for somebody who's trying to, uh, or a team of, of mythical beings that are trying to create Ragnarok, and they're trying to stop them. They just found out in this issue that they're trying to create Ragnarok, so they're trying to stop them. So that's Mythic Issue 3. If you have a chance to pick that up, it's only at issue three, so it's a great read to catch up with. Um, second one, Lobo Annual Number One. Now, this is a new Lobo. This is um, written by Bun and drawn by Rocha. A lot of people weren't happy with this Lobo. I have to say, originally, I was not. But once I started reading it and read the storyline, it's good. Can I get behind the aesthetic of the character, the sparkly Lobo? I can because I know the story's good, and this one, he's not as sparkly vampire she's he's a lot cooler in this one so if you have a chance check out this one um he uh fights the yellow lanterns in this one it's really awesome he fights sinestro and sinestro's like wait he, he's, he's really beating him and so sinestro's like wait and then he calls off the the hit on himself he called the hit on himself to see how well lobo fights because sinestro's gonna hire him to go get someone else so that, that's what happened in this comic it was a great one um, Ninjak, if you're reading this, I love you because you love Valiant, and I love Valiant. Um, so Ninjak, in this one, he's, uh, still fighting the, uh, chick with the red hair, but he fights that big dude. He fights the big samurai guy, and he just cuts him up into pieces. It's amazing. You gotta read it. It's a good one. Sorry if I'm going super fast. I just want to get through this. It's super late, and I, I hate giving y'all late product. I don't want to give y'all late product. I'm trying to be good to y'all, do it on time, so... We're going to get through this and we're going to go on to next week's stuff. Also, Justice League Gods and Monsters Superman number one. I loved it. It was great. I felt for the character. Man, if y'all haven't got this, y'all need to get out to the shop. I ordered extra. We have more here in shop. So swing by, pick one up. It's only $3.99 for a great one issue. Pick it up. And then tomorrow on Wednesday, the Wonder Woman comes out. So they're really good comics so far. And I've already read the Wonder Woman. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. All right. Next one. X-Men 92. And this one in part one, um, uh, gosh, the lady had killed Professor Xavier at the end. And this one, at the end, we find X-Force. X-Force joining us. Now, this one, uh, it's issue two. It's X-Men 92. And this is kind of based around the TV show. So when I'm reading this, do you know what I hear? da na 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 da na 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 Na, 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 na. Na, na, na. That's what I hear when reading this comic. And I hear their voices. It's a great comic. Um, at the end of issue one, she kind of captured all of them in her base. And she's making them go through these psychological evaluations. And she's kind of making them fight themselves. And trying to break down their character. She breaks Wolverine down. He's all... Uh, you you got to read it. It's a good one. Um, second one, Ghostbusters Get Real. So this is a trans-dimensional thing that we have going on with the Ghostbusters. Kind of what happened in... Uh, a couple of months ago, they had Ghostbusters and Ninja Turtles together. So it was those ghost, Ghostbusters from that universe coming into the universe. Actually, the the comic book Ghostbusters going into the universe of the Ghostbusters that were with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Two different Ghostbusters fighting together, fighting evil. It's good. It's a uh, yeah. So in this one, they're they're discovering that they really are like their counterparts, and it's really interesting. So you got to get that one. Um, Next one, Powers number five. Is number five? Number four, I'm sorry. Powers number four. If you, I don't want to spoil this one too much for you. It's written by Brian Michael Bendis. It's a, he doesn't let you down on storytelling. He is a great storyteller, and this is one of his best books. you really got to read this one. It's only an issue four. A lot of these have just started, so they're not really deep into the story. You can go pick up the back issues. Most comic shops don't charge high prices for, for back issues if they're that far along. Most comic shots have them still at the cover price. Black Force Comics does. Um, next one. It's a little plug there. Deathlock number 10. So, uh, 
Mr. Henry here, Henry Hayes, has actually defected from those that were controlling him, and he's working with S.H.I.E.L.D. to get away from their control and working with uh, them to uh, move his daughter because uh, since he's defected, they're going after him, they're going after his daughter, and so he's kind of like, you know what, I'll just tell my daughter I'm dead, and S.H.I.E.L.D., you take care of her, and so he's trusting S.H.I.E.L.D. to do that, but then at the very end, there's a twist. So you got to read that. Last page, last panel. Actually, last whole page. Okay, for the kids, I chose Munchkin, issue number seven. What I like about Munchkin, it's a whole bunch of different um, different little stories all together. Last issue of Munchkin, issue number six, it was the, the guy and the girl, they were um, giving little short stories, saying it was their movie time, Munchkin movie night. They're doing it again, Munchkin movie night part two. So check it out, it's fun little read. They have funny little short stories. One's about a vampire, and one's about, you know, look at the vampire. Little throwback vampire right there, you like that? Um, next one's about Cthulhu Monster coming out. They're really great little stories. They're uh, entertaining. They're fun for kids and adults because they have a lot of stuff that only adults would get in there. So um, if you have a chance, check it out. I love Munchkin. I love D&D related stuff, so that kind of falls right into it. Um, so... In six minutes, I've explained a pile of comics from this past week that I really enjoyed. Now, going on to what's coming out this week. I'm saying it's Tuesday. I haven't read everything yet. But uh, what's coming out that you'll really want to pick up uh, this Wednesday, Justice League Gods and Monsters, Wonder Woman number one. I read this. Oh, it's good. She's got a little bit of amnesia going on, trying to figure out who she was. It's good. Pick it up, please. Future Imperfect. Haven't read this one yet. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Maestro's really throwing it down in the future. Miss Marvel. I'm a big softie. I started reading this and I was like, oh, I can't read this anymore. It, it's she, She's freaking out that she's actually meeting Carol Danvers. It, it's, a, it's a good comic. I've, I've loved this story so far. They've done a good job writing it. Um, I've been on board with Miss, Miss Marvel since issue one. I like it. Pick it up. It's issue 7. It's going to be the last issue for uh, Marvel's run like this. Then they're going to switch over to the new one. Um, also coming out, Pathfinder number 6. Haven't read this one yet. But again, D&D related. I'm going to love it. You know what I really love about Pathfinder? If you, if you play D&D or any type of Pathfinder game or anything, they come with maps inside. Every single issue does. Not only that, they come with a story that you can play look at that story play for free with the comic and not this issue but the first issue also had character sheets in it so it's it's a cool comic to pick up next one Darth Vader number eight's coming out you got to pick that one up haven't read it yet I'm sure it's good Civil War number two I did read this one. Oh man just as good as Civil War number one I'm really looking forward to it um, Tony Stark finds out what happened with that whole assassination from issue one. Um, yeah, so he, he's he's sending in Jennifer Walters as a spy, not as She-Hulk, but as, as a lawyer to go check out everything and figure it out. So, yeah, ha check it out. Uh, next, Mad Max Fury Road number two. Haven't read this one yet. I was digging the end of part one, where uh, issue one, where he, they left off and he had just got the motor to put into the car. So we're picking up right there. They had uh, Somebody had beat him up, and then this girl had came and saved him. So he's going to have to go get his car back from these thugs that beat him up after he had just got the, won the motor from fighting in a fight, put in his car. Some thugs came and beat him up and took it. This girl found him, saved him. So, yeah, we're going to pick up on that. Second one, Infinity Gauntlet number two. Number three, I'm sorry. Um, Thanos, I don't want, it's not coming out till tomorrow. I don't want to ruin it for you. But Thanos rewrites time from issues one and two. Completely new. So we can say this is issue number 3.1 or 1 slash 3. I'll let you think about it. All right, second one. Giant size Little Marvel, Avengers vs. X-Men number three. This has been fun so far. I haven't read this issue yet, but these have been really good. They were fighting for people who were joining the team. A um, couple of new students. So that's, that's going to be good. You have a chance to pick that up. Um, next one, Detective Comics number 43 is coming out. I am loving this, the story that Scott Snyder's doing so far, but this uh, Detective Comics is being written by, uh, I'm going to butcher the name, but Bouchaletto. He's working in conjunction with Snyder on the Batman storyline. So they work together on, on writing these stories, and this one's have been really good so far. 
So, and this is the um, bombshell variant cover. So pick this up. It's gonna be better later. We stand guard number two. Number one left us. I haven't read this one yet. Again, these come out tomorrow. Uh, I've been doing a lot of other stuff. Haven't had a chance to read them yet, and it's just been a crazy weekend. But We Stand Guard number two is coming out. This one's going to be really good because I really loved issue one. It looks good. I just cheated. All right. On to number nine, Hunted by the Citadel. So we find Lobo being hunted. I haven't read it yet. Like I said, I, I jumped on Lobo. I was... You know, when I approach everything, I try to approach everything with an open mind. The movies, the comics, everything. Especially with a character as iconic as Lobo, I was kind of hesitant. Because I'm used to the main man Lobo, the big hulking beast of a guy that smokes cigars like a sailor and talk like a sailor. And had a religion of flying dolphins in space. That was my Lobo. This is a new Lobo. He's not bad. He's a pretty cool Lobo. Check him out. He's a hired hitman. He's more professional about what he does. I can appreciate a professional hitman. Not that I'm trying to incriminate myself. Okay, enough. Looking for group number five. Another D&D type story arc. I love d and I'm not going to say it enough. Um, this has been a fun freaking series so far. It's totally politically incorrect. It's a story about an elf who got stuck with a group of people that... He was a good elf, and he got stuck with a evil person and a neutral person and if you've ever played any type of D&D you know that that's just a big old mess but it works somehow so and this comic is totally working totally enjoying it that's looking for group number five this is the variant cover this is my cover that I'm keeping for myself because I'm gonna color it in because I like to color all right next one Red Skull Battle World number two number one was amazing so number two I already read this one Oh, it is good. They get the inhibitor off Magneto. And that's all I'm going to tell you. Because you really need to read it. Group number three. I read this one as well. Um, he's working with Silver Surfer. And he doesn't say a lot because he's Groot. But, you know, it's good. Guardians of Nowhere. Another good one. Number three. I'm sorry, number two. Um, this guy comes and fights everyone. So that's that's good to read. Midnighter number three. It's another good one that came out. Um, check out Midnighter. He's an old comic from uh, Wildstorm. So you got to check him out. Wicked and Divine. Issue number 13. If you haven't been keeping up with this, get the uh, trade paperbacks. They're out right now. Where you can get one and two of the trade paperbacks. It's a good series to pick up. It's a great story. Um, next one. Spider Island. Number two, number yeah, number two, plus an MC2 story by the original Spider Girl team. Extra stories worth picking up. Finally, for this uh, week's coming up, Amazing Spider Man Renew Your Vows number two. Good stuff to pick up, good, a lot of good stuff. So, on to our other news the Deadpool trailer came out today for the movie. I haven't watched it yet because I wanted to watch it with y'all. So here's what we're going to do. I'm opening up YouTube right now. Let us watch. It's probably blowing up the YouTube in this. Cool trailer. Hey. Okay. Reaction to the Deadpool trailer. In HD. In a world divided by fear, one man must stand alone against the forces of darkness. From the studio that inexplicably sewed his fucking mouth shut the first time, comes five times. This was from yesterday. This isn't the right one. Who no momento? Ladies and gentlemen, I give you. So, get ready to blow out your collective sphincters, because my trailer is coming. Tomorrow. 
but that was an amazing trailer to a trailer. Uh, Alright, let's find the Deadpool trailer, the real thing. Hopefully this is it. A bunch of fanfic stuff. All of this is a good fanfic. Tied up a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I did not see the trailer. Maybe I'm missing something, but it doesn't look like it's out yet. Sorry, guys. Maybe next time. Okay, so that concludes this week. Issue number trace. Um... We'll see you again.